Bass Fishing Freaks, we are arriving at the Drastic Plastics Lair. See if I can get in here. Scott's up there like, come on! Come on up here! We're gonna try to get three bass boats up in here tonight. Excuse me. Is there? Is this where the boat ramp is? Yeah, it's right over there. <laughs> there he is. What are the odds that we we meet each other? So if you want to do a loop, okay, pull down there. I'll have him loop around behind you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep, yep. yep. All right, we're gonna have to like do this at the same time. So like once he clears right there, I'm gonna have to go down. It's gonna be tricky. Oh my God, they're all over the... Can I come over here? Scott, can I go on the grass? Jesus, Mikey. What are the odds we all show up at the same time? That was not me, Mikey. You scared the dogs. <laughs> Paul was here not five minutes ago. Could you imagine a fourth boat? Oh, uh, was that a ranger? Skeeter? An older ranger with power poles? Yeah. That was just here. Yeah, that's Paul. Oh, yeah, yeah, I met him. I'm like, yeah, yeah. what are the odds I meet another bass boat on this road? Well, he was just here. <laughs> uh, he's probably thinking the same thing. Who's this? Yeah. Good odds. We're all coming here. Fishing with Mikey P right there. Today wasn't very good. No? <laughs> you only catch 9 to 12 inches. I. Oh, <laughs> bumpers. Hey. Darla. Darla. Come here, bumpers. Hi. You don't remember me? You don't remember me? We don't put it anywhere. I got this many rods out. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. Yeah. <laughs> Walmart cleared them out for sixteen dollars. No shit. I have like one point. I had like cleared what out? Skeet reese rods. Oh. Oh, your Crocs? You got them at Walmart? No, my Skeet reese rods. Oh. So if you're not Crocs, I had. Uh, I had the heck is this, Junior? Overcompensation. If you had wood that ran down into some deeper water, right. there was boulders that really should be marked in that lake that aren't marked. Yeah. That scared the crap out of me all the time. Hi. Don't pay attention. What's going on with your talking? Scott keeps giving me all these baits. I gotta find room for them. Mm -hmm. Glitter manatee grubs. Some white paddle tails. Some purple paddle tails. Alright. Gotta make room. For baits. I should make room for trophies. Well, I'll do, do like they did back in the Red Man days. Like, I'll get the front half in the morning. Yeah. Do this thing today for a little bit. Didn't catch anything on it, though. Made me upset. This was the $30 one. Like to launch this thing takes a lot out of a guy. <laughs> this is stupid. Do you see the Matt Robertson video of him trying to get the his thousand dollar swim bait? No. He lost it. Really? And he went and got a he waypointed it, went and got a casting net for like bait fish, took an ugly stick, stuck it in the bottom. And got it? And got it back. All right, folks, here we go. We just left Scott's house. We are Lake Redstone bound. Scott's leading the way. Junior's in front of me. 
I'm the tail today. Hopefully I can keep up to them boys. 2023 Kicker Cup. Lake Redstone. Let's do it. Got him. Come on, beekeeper buddy. I don't think it is, but.
Woohoo! First keeper, 15 incher. There's one. That one might keep too. Maybe not. Dang it. Stay down, baby. Stay down. Stay hooked. Yes. Not a big one, but pretty sure he'll keep. Two pounds even.
Yeah, on body. That should keep right there for number three. Alright, well, my SD card was full and I kind of just let it be because I wanted to get this bank flipped. I just pulled back up here. This is the kind of swing corner, shaded corner here where I caught my very first keeper and I just caught a keeper smallie. On a wacky worm right here. He's barely a keeper, he's like 14 and a half. So I took some time. Got that live well filled up, got smallmouth over there. Three largies over here. I opened this one up and I could pump some actual fresh water in there. Starting to get some like white foam in there. So figured well we'll we'll pump some fresh water in. Take some time, keep the fish healthy. I got four fish. It's 10 o'clock. Got four hours to catch one more. Obviously, I want to throw all these fish back, catch bigger ones, but unless I get lucky, I don't think that's an option. So I'm going to be extremely lucky if I bring in 10 pounds today. <laughs> if I get one more about this size, I'll probably have like a nine pound limit. Woo! Hashtag kicking ass. Let's do this. I am seriously about out of black and blue wacky worms. This pack here was so full it would barely close. And there's six worms left in there. Wow. There was like 20. I bet there was 20 or more in that one. And then there was at least 10 in the other pack. So I've, I've went through a lot of worms today. But if I'm catching fish... That's all right, because that's what I, that's why I buy so much tackle, right? Oh my gosh, I think I have, I've got a fish on. <laughs> and I'm up over that tree limb. Wow. There's one. I don't think he's gonna go. Oh, he might. <laughs> Little small mouth. Come on, go. Go 14. Go 14. I think he's gonna. Yeah, 15 and a half. All right, that's a limit. There's one. I should. Another one just hit it.
Third place junior. Coming in second place with 12.33, Scott Monroe. Good job, Scott. Woo! And also all three guys that finished in the top three qualify for the Kicker Cup next spring on Matt. Behind the fence. Sorry, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the trophy around. <laughs> Can't be. <laughs> That's a wrap, folks. I'll tell you what, I had a blast this weekend fishing the Kicker Cup tournament. Even though I kind of sucked and uh, I ended up weighing in five bass for 8.80 pounds. Uh, I had three largies and two smallmouth. After I got my fifth fish, I never caught any other keepers to upgrade. I don't know. But it was a lot of fun, and the camaraderie, that was the best. Uh, just hanging out with everybody, Junior and Scott, and the guys at the Kicker Cup that I met for the first time, some of them, and we you know, chatted like we were best buds. It was fun. Um, good group of people. Big congratulations to Junior and Scott on cash and checks and moving to the Kicker Cup. If you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Clobber that thumbs up. A Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you are never too fat to fish.